Basketball rule number four. If you miss enough of life's free throws, you will pay in the end. Having a mother is good when she rescues you from free throw attempt number 36, your arms as heavy as sea anchors. But it can be bad when your mother is a principal at your school. Bad in so many ways. It's always education this and education that. After a double overtime basketball game, I only won three things. Food, bath, sleep. The last thing I want is education. But each night, mom makes us read. Don't know how he does it, but JB listens to his iPod at the same time, so he doesn't hear me when I ask him, is Miss Sweet Tea his girlfriend? He claims he's listening to French classical, that it helps him concentrate. Yeah, right. Sounds more like Jay-Z and Kanye in Paris. Which is why when mom and dad start arguing, he doesn't hear them either. Mom shouts, get a checkup. Hypertension is genetic. I'm fine. Stop high posting me, baby. Dad whispers, don't play me, Charles. This isn't a basketball game. I don't need a doctor. I'm fine. Your father didn't need a doctor either. He was alive when he went into the hospital. So now you're afraid of hospitals? Nobody's afraid. I'm fine. It's not that serious. Fainting is a joke, is it? I saw you, baby, and I got a little excited. Come kiss me. Don't do that. Baby, it's nothing. I just got a little dizzy. You love me? Like some of love short nights. Get a checkup then. Only cure I need is you. I'm serious about this, Chuck. Only doctor I need is Dr. Crystal Bell. Now come here. And then there is silence, so I put the pillow over my head because when they stop talking, I know what that means. Ugh. Hypertension. Now, a disease otherwise known as high blood pressure. As in, mom doesn't want dad eating salt because too much of it increases the volume of blood, which can cause hypertension. As in, hypertension can affect all types of people, but you have a higher risk if someone in your family has had the disease. As in, I think my grandfather died of hypertension. To fall asleep, I count and recount the 37 strands of my past in the box beneath my bed. Why we only ate salad for Thanksgiving? Because every year grandma makes a big delicious dinner, but this year, two days before Thanksgiving, she fell off her front stoop on the way to buy groceries. So Uncle Bob, my mom's younger brother, who smokes cigars and thinks he's a chef because he watches food TV, decided he would prepare a feast for the whole family, which consisted of macaroni with no cheese, concrete hard cornbread, and a greenish looking ham that prompted mom to ask if he had any eggs to go along with it, which made grandma laugh so hard, she fell again, this time right out of her wheelchair. How do you spell trouble? During the vocabulary test, JB passes me a folded note to give Miss Sweet Tea, who sits at the desk in front of me and who looks pretty tight in her pink denim capris and matching sneaks. Someone cracks a window. A cold breeze whistles. Her hair dances to its own song. In this moment, I forget about the test and the note until JB hits me in the head with his number two pencil. Somewhere between camaraderie and imbecile, I tag her beige, bare shoulder with the note. At that exact moment, the teacher head, teacher's head creeps up from his desk, his eyes directly on me. I'm a fly caught in a web. What do I do? Hand over the note, embarrass JB, or hide the note, take the heat. I look at my brother, his forehead a factory of sweat. Miss Sweet Tea smiles, gorgeous pink lips and all. I know what I have to do. Bad news. I sit in mom's office for an hour, reading brochures and pamphlets about the Air Force and the Marines. She's in and out handling principal stuff. A parent protesting her daughter's F, a prank substitute teacher crying, a broken window. After an hour, she finally sits in the chair next to me and says, the good news is I'm not going to suspend you. The bad news, Josh, 
is that neither Duke nor any other college accepts cheaters. Since I can't seem to make a decent man out of you, perhaps the Air Force or Marines can. I want to tell her I wasn't cheating, that this is all JB and Miss Sweet T's fault, that this will never happen again, that Duke is the only thing that matters, but a water pipe burst in a girl's bathroom. So I tell her I'm sorry, it won't happen again, then head off to my next class. Gym class is supposed to be about balls, volleyballs, basketballs, softballs, soccer balls, sometimes sit-ups, and always sweat. But today, Mr. Lane tells us not to dress out. He's standing in front of class, a dummy laid out on the floor. Plastic, faceless, torso cut in half. I'm not paying attention to anything he's saying or to the dummy. Because I'm watching Jordan pass notes to Miss Sweet Tea. And I wonder what's in the notes. Josh, why don't you come up and assist me? What? Huh? The class snickers. And before I know it, I'm tilting the dummy's head back, pinching his nose, blowing in his mouth, and pumping his chest 30 times. All the while, thinking that if life is really fair, one day I'll be the one writing notes to some sweet girl and JB will have to squash his lips on some dummy's sweaty mouth. Part two. Second quarter. Conversation. Hey, JB, I played a game at the rec today. At first, the older guys laughed and wouldn't let me in unless I hit from half court. Of course I did. All net. I wait for JB to say something, but he just smiles, his eyes on Mooney. I showed them guys how to bells ball. I scored 14 points. They told me I should try out for junior varsity next year because I got hops. JB, are you listening? JB nods, his fingers tapping away on the computer, chatting probably with Miss Sweet Tea. I told the guys about you. They said we could come back and run with them anytime. What do you think about that? Hello, Earth to JB. Even though I know he hears me, the only thing JB is listening to is the sound of his heart bouncing on the court of love. Conversation. Dad, this girl is making JB act weird. He's here, but he's not. He's always smiling. His eyes get all spacey whenever she's around, and sometimes when he when she's not. He wears your cologne. He's always texting her. He even wore loafers to school. Dad, you gotta do something. Dad does something. He laughs. Filthy. Talking to your brother right now would be like pushing water uphill with a rake, son. This isn't funny, Dad. Say something to him, please. Filthy. If some girl done locked up JB, he's going to jail. Now let's go get some donuts.